What is up, Justin here? Uh, I have a quick review of iOS 6. My buddy at iOS 6 Betas hooked me up with it. Um, I'll put a link in the description, but he might not have any slots left. Um, uh, the screen size might be a little bit smaller because I'm recording on an iPhone because my digital camera broke. But besides that, um, here's iOS 6. The startup screen, as you can see, they changed the wallpaper from the water. Um, everything is the same. But you'll see there is a difference in maps and passbook as soon as you start up. Messages basically looks the same. Calendar looks the same. Photos look the same. Ca the fo uh, camera, you know, looks a little bit different on the bottom. Options, there's no new options, just grid and HDR. So, then videos, um, you know, it has a little bit different layout as before. And then we have maps. Now, maps is really cool. What maps does, like now you go inside 3D and then you could go inside satellite mode or hybrid or just your standard. I like satellite. And then wait for it to load up. Now with this, you could go look around the buildings. As you can see, you could have a top view or like a side view, like a 3D view. And you know, this is this is pretty cool. I got him to Apple for this, so let me search that. So you could zoom in. And everything will start to become, you know, see everything. So this is pretty cool. And, yeah, so that's maps. And weather basically, you know, looks the same. There's a little bit different layout. Um, passbook. Now, I don't know if you could use passbook right now, but what passbook is is let's say you have a Fandango app or like a um, an airplane ticket or something app but you just don't want to go through the hassle of finding it well your apps will integrate with Passbook and then you'll have all your tickets just right there your porting passes, tickets, store cards and coupons all just laid out perfectly so that's pretty cool then notes is the same. Uh, reminders, you know, the same. Clock, the same. Game center, you know, game center, the same thing still. Newsstand, iTunes, and the App Store. Um, iTunes looks a lot different, I guess you could say. Um, the App Store. Looks pretty different too. Show you guys. Whoops. Yeah. So this is featured apps. As you can see, there's a new. You could slide new. It's hot. There's the uh, banners on top. And that is uh, pretty much it, guys. I installed Twitter, Instagram, Fandango. Um, and yeah, I mean, oh yeah, and there's the phone. The phone looks a little bit different. The keypad, you can see, is different. You know, everything else looks the same. Uh, music looks a lot different. Wait for that to load up. Yeah. all of the same stuff and you know what that's basically about it mail hasn't changed uh... safari so really hasn't changed um... but oh yeah settings let me go through the settings for you guys there is a do not disturb button which means when you turn do not disturb on at night or any time when you receive calls your phone will not ring or vibrate or light up. When when you 
turn on your phone, you will see the missed call. But if that person calls a second time, like for emergency or something, then your phone will ring. So that's another cool thing to have. Privacy, you know, this location, services, contacts, calendars, reminders, and photos. So you could mess with that. Then you have... Uh, let's go back to general. Whoop, it's like cloud. General. There is new accessibility options. So, yeah. But I'm pretty sure I went through everything. Um, there is Facebook integration now. And later you'll be able to FaceTime over 4G. Um, this is just like more stuff will be coming in iOS 6 when it comes to the final version. And um, it's pretty much it, guys. So thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe my videos. Thanks, guys. Peace.